Okay, so. Happy birthday. Like, the fact that her husband's mom just has to be a white woman. It's always Tyler Perry to sneak some shit in. First of all, he sneaks shit in from trauma, his past, and all of that shit. That's fine, whatever, cool, cool. But it's like every single movie, they're all connected in some weird-ass underground way where they're all tied up in Tyler Perry's fucking childhood and growing up trauma. But I'm not sure of what the <laughs> Mia Culpa and her husband's mom, her mother-in-law, excuse me, her mother-in-law is white. So the, of course the son in law is mixed. So I'm like, why can't why can't we just get a full black dude? Because then we have to have this amount of disrespect. That is why I say this. With this, if it's just a black a black mom and she just don't like, you know, the daughter in law, whatever. She just don't like her. But you're not gonna get you're not gonna get the tension from it being a white woman and a black woman. And the disrespect in between. So the fact that the mother-in-law is a clear-cut white woman. And she's just clear-cut disrespecting. I think her name is what? Mia? Or Kelly Rowland. Just disrespecting her like, oh. Off rip. That's how we, that's how we coming in. Now, bear in mind, I am not a Tyler uh, Perry hater. Nor am I a Monique hater or lover. Um, I don't, I don't know. Tyler Perry, I feel like at the end of the day, looking back on his shit as an adult, a lot of his movies were ridiculous simply because for one, he, they, the wigs were horrible, the, were bad, but that's, I mean, I didn't know it back then, but looking at it now, I'm like, what the fuck is going on with the hair? Like, we could have just used their regular hair. I don't get it, but... And the stories, and not even the story. well, no, the stories. A lot of the times, the stories for me, comparing it to um, another kind of controversial network, station, um, channel, platform, whatever, Tubi. So I've been diving into a lot of the Tubi movies, and what I found is me watching Tubi movies in 2003, 2024, versus me watching... Um, a handful definitely did not watch all of Tyler Perry's things. I wasn't the person who enjoyed the plays. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen one whole Tyler Perry play play because that just wasn't really my thing and I didn't want to see it. Um, all the Tyler Perry movies where he was dressed up as Medea and stuff, they weren't really funny to me. I wasn't really into them. I think I've seen one or two. Um, I think one of them that a lot of people know about, which is the one that was decent, was um, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Which, as I look back on that now, why we got to do the colorist thing, it's like there's always type of um, a battle, a battle of disrespect, a disrespect level that tends to strictly go towards the black woman. Because, just as I said, the movies that I did watch, and again, off the top of my head, um, Diary of a Mad Black Woman, we had the the dark-skinned sister, the black girl, getting thrown out, like literally dragged out the house over a pretty much mixed or, if not all, white girl for this black-ass husband. I'm talking about black-ass meaning probably a bit darker than me. And I'm dark. No, I'm not that dark, but I'm 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 brown. Dark brown. I guess I am dark. He was darker than me and wanted to kick his brown skin chick out for a whole nother thing. And it's always about uh, I don't know. So I I guess that was some type of little rant that I just had, but it just throws me off like I guess you do need a bit of the drama and whatnot, but damn right off the rip. We just instantly got to get slapped in the face with a white woman who feels like she is better and her son is better um, than this than this chick. Now, maybe I should watch on to see if the chicks. Yeah. 
yeah see just cut every fucking thing that i just said at, at, at the three seconds that i just said the shit that i said about well wait let me see the see the, no because they clearly just proved a fucking point by pulling in jenna with the red suit lady in the red dress devil in the red dress the distraction light skin chick whatever they pulled her out the mix and of course the white woman will pull out the lighter fair skin more than likely mixed young lady to make the black young lady feel some type of way and the fact that her son which is supposed to be the husband just let his mom do all this shit it's like i would have been left your ass the fuck is going on here how is kelly Rowland? A whole ass lawyer and shit in Chicago. I'm pretty sure she got options. So why she's sitting around with this mixed boy and his mama just disrespect everywhere to the point that she's bringing other women to her birthday dinner trying to hook her son up in front of the wife and the husband not doing shit, sitting in the back like he fucking five years old. So when we know a lot of the men in Tyler Perry flicks tend to be weak and mild. And they'll let certain women, women, excuse me, which may be their mothers and things of that nature, bear down on them to the point where they are just kind of taking over their lives. And uh, if I keep continue to watch this movie and this man, I say absolutely nothing about how his mom is treating his wife that I may not be able to get through this, but we gonna see.